How are you? Can you see me okay? Yeah. Fluentify.com is a company I learned about from uh, Kangaroo English. Fluentify bought his uh, Kangaroo English in 2020, and so it looks like he's in charge of their academy. I'm Christian, and I want to change the way the world learns English. And so I decided to give it a shot and take a trial lesson with them. Fluentify claims to have the best tutors in the business, which is kind of weird because at the same time they say that they are not employees of Fluentify. We have quality tutors, but they don't work for us. Which made me even more curious, and so I booked a trial lesson for one euro and chose the most qualified and experienced Fluentify tutor I could find. One P from Ireland. It says mother tongue tutor. Not sure why. Why not just a native speaker? With over 3000 lessons completed with 1100 happy students with a master's degree in linguistics and over 10 years of experience teaching English, a director of studies and a school manager. As I said, the most qualified and experienced I could find. Plus Irish, which adds some extra pep. And so here we go. How is this platform different from the competition? Yeah. So let's, let's first of all compare it to like a, a general language school. Okay, so with a general language school, they'll give you the material generally like a book. You have to use a particular book or, or a set of books to use and, and you basically you follow that and then you can add on whatever extra material that you have. With Fluentify, um, it's, it's up to you. So they give you a... Um, like free conversations, and, what they call Exactly, yeah. There is a general syllabus that they want you to follow because there are kind of these mini tests every so often um, that the students have. And so as long as you kind of cover those generally, you know, um, so they so they can pass their tests and get to that next level, then you're free to do whatever you want. The um, reason I booked your lesson is because yeah. you have a background in linguistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Qualifications are I have a master's in ESO, which is studying linguistics so that I can teach languages. So I studied to teach. And you know, since this is about teaching language, sure. I'd like I wanted to ask you what is language <laughs> in a way. Because what I mean I, I think you would agree that in order to figure out how to teach, mm -hmm. we have to know, we have to be able to define the thing we are teaching. So it's good. Okay, this is this is a good question. Um, the fact that you are not an English speaker, uh, like a native English speaker, excuse me, is in some ways an advantage to you because you have yourself had to learn English, right? And do you any do you know any other languages? Um, besides Russian, you? yeah. As a child, uh, pro and, you and probably Russian. know. Sure. You know sure. I grew up behind the Iron Curtain, so yeah. Russian yeah. was the yeah. language. Yeah, yeah right. So and this, a, a bit of Japanese. And a bit of Japanese. Excellent, excellent. It is an advantage to know another language. Um, so Yourself, I can speak German. Oh, you can, okay. I can speak German. I'm learning Polish. It's harder <laughs> in German. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to learn Polish. So it is so an advantage. So what is language in your, in your experience or, you know, from what you've learned studying linguistics? Language is a form of communication from one person to another, whether it doesn't matter if that language is perfect or not. So, you know, when they start um, communicating, the tenses will be wrong. That The vocabulary might be um, okay. So, for example, they might say, I go to the park yesterday. That's fine. That's language. It doesn't matter that... They didn't say, I went to the park yesterday. You know, I go to the park yesterday. You still understand what they're saying. This is language. It's any form of communication. Communication, you able. mean like uh, give people information? From one to the other, okay. whether that's through pictures, yeah. sure, whether sure. that's through um, speaking. I read somewhere whatever. that the way the guy described it, it's the exact opposite. Language is a tool for acquiring knowledge. So it's not about giving, it's about okay. getting. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's a nice way to put it. That's a nice way to put it as well. Um, a tool for receiving that information. Acquire and getting information. Acquiring, exactly, receiving, yes. Receiving, acquiring. exactly. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. But the thing yeah. is, most people define it as giving. Yeah, I mean, the, the first thing that kind of comes into my head is giving as a teacher, you know? Um, that would be the first thing that comes to my but, head. But I mean, it's actually... Yeah, yeah. I think, so I, and I kind of agree with that guy that it's more about getting. Not more about, but it's primarily about oh, getting. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. That's actually a nice way. That is actually a good way to put it. And I what, think it's uh, uh, I don't know, it was he or she, she also said that speaking is a byproduct of knowledge acquisition. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, so... Not the focus, but the byproduct. But I remember byproduct. specifically the word Speaking. byproduct. Speaking is yeah. a byproduct of knowledge acquisition. Yeah, nice. I mean, just thinking about how children learn how to communicate. The first thing, of course, is that they will receive it, acquire it, um, and they won't acquire it but they acquire well. knowledge right they acquire information it's they acquire, not, yeah exactly exactly the information exactly, exactly meaningful information exactly 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 and when you see a child learning like through pictures first understanding what those pictures are, are you talking about second language or first i'm talking about first language okay i'm talking about first pictures language, yeah. oh you mean yeah yeah images pictures images yeah. exactly yeah yeah right and they won't learn when you think of teaching a language maybe you think okay i have to teach this vocabulary okay i'm going to teach this these words no they don't do that they learn through um context ah, what's the word Context. Through context, yeah. through context, and through blocks of a language. So you you wouldn't teach. Well, you might teach how, and then are, and then you. Right? No. It's how are you? That's that's. Think about it in that way. It's they learn it through blocks of language. Right? So they don't they don't learn. Children don't learn through one word at a time. They learn through phrases at a time, almost. You know. Would you say that adults learn like children? So I, I teach primarily adults as well. Um, yes and no. So those phrases are really important. I wouldn't teach how and then are and then you. I would teach how are you like that. But then when it gets a bit more complicated, yeah, you do need to teach singular vocabulary. So for business, for example, the, they already have a certain level of language generally, um, even if it's a A2 level, let's say, you know. Um, so teaching through context, I really like the way you said it, teaching through context because using their um, experiences, you know, interests. And, and, and using and their, yeah, and using through their own interests and their own experiences and then using that. And so then they're able to use it in that full. But again, again, from that mm. definition, if uh, yeah. you also agree with that definition that language is a tool yeah. for acquiring yeah. knowledge, mm -hmm. then the sure. word use would mean yeah. get knowledge, mean read and listen, not speak. I think when people say use, they mean speak. So when you said just they will use it, you I guess you meant they, they would speak, right? Any way of using it, any way of using it, whether that's... Um, so, you know... I'm not going to uh, ask an adult generally to draw me a picture, you know, especially online. If it, maybe if it was a, a physical class, okay, I might get them to do a picture, maybe depending on the class. But generally, I don't. You know, this mm -hmm. is a language class, so. Um, but there is no knowledge in a language class. Why not? So language is a tool they, for acquiring knowledge. What I know, but they've got the knowledge behind them from their experiences. Let's say again, let's look at a business class again, right? A business class is the same as an English class, it's just a different context. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's it could be a general or a business class. It doesn't matter. It's con just different context. But I using their experiences from what they've got before, 
they've got that information already. So asking, so when you uh, start a class, what information do they already know? They usually do have, especially adults, have some kind of information already. But they, you know? that's information they've acquired through their native language. Uh, that's knowledge I'm, they've acquired through I'm, their native language. Yeah, through their native language, which sometimes can be, because English has become this international language, can sometimes yeah. be in English, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 but if... Especially yeah. in business. Close languages, I guess, but uh, especially here in Japan, it's such a remote language. I can't speak for Japan. No, I can't but even speak. even a close language like French and or yeah. Spanish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To me, yeah. the way it's like, for example, if you learn to play the piano, and yeah, you, you know, you've played for such a long time, and suddenly somebody asks you to play the same song on on a on a guitar. Yeah, yeah. You have the song. It's you good. have the melody it's very different but yeah you haven't in a way learned the song on the guitar you, you definitely the piano. it's a good way of thinking about it. i like that i like that yeah so the um, way the way they i mean from you know what i've seen is that hmm. nobody goes to a language classroom to acquire knowledge they all yeah. want to speak they don't acquire knowledge because you're right it's, yes they all that's the primary purpose right they're there to speak, to write, to whatever. Okay? To speak, but, but if, we, if you agree that speaking is a byproduct of knowledge acquisition, then mm -hmm. that's not possible for them to speak. That's my question. How can they speak if they acquire knowledge through their native language? It's not, uh, what do you call it, transferable to another language. That, that kind of knowledge you can't... Unless you are bilingual. What I would do... So, Let's say I'm going to teach about one of the last business classes I taught was about I Ikea, okay? Because they have a really unique way of presenting their products compared to um, uh, anybody else, actually. You, you go into the shop and you experience the products themselves, right? Okay. And none of the students I have work in Ikea, but it's, it's a really unique um, way of uh, showing the products, right? They know this already in their own language. You're absolutely right. So... Again, this is a certain level of English already, so it's not it's not starting from the beginning. But so I'm able to we're able to go through the pictures first, and I'm the first thing I would do is, okay, what information do they already know in English? Okay, so again, I am looking at a certain level here, you know, like at least an intermediate level if I was to teach something as advanced as that. But what what do they already know, and then go on from there, build up from the information that they already have, okay, or the vocabulary that they already have, okay, and. Um, what is the role, sorry to interrupt, what is the yeah. role of a yeah. language teacher? I specialize in teaching teachers. That's a good question. The role of a language teacher is, yeah, to, like you said, to pass on the information that you have studied and that you know to them. But how do you do that? Mm. To me, again, when we talk about adults, yeah, because children is different, I think you would agree with me, uh, even though probably you don't have experience. I don't have either. Not really, not, not really with kids. But not children, really. children, just the way we yeah. uh, children learn, not just about yeah. language, but any subject is just different from adults. Uh, yeah. To me, the role of a language teacher, any teacher for that matter, is to teach the adult student how to learn alone without a teacher i always do absolutely 100 percent. i mean that's why i do flipped lessons for example so um i would get them to see a picture for example you know before the class right um or read an article depending on their level before the class and go and then it's a great discussion piece right there's always going to be vocabulary there that they don't understand. There's always going to be something that they don't understand. So a flit a flit class is always good for that. Um, mm. would, you, would, my, you, would you agree that the, the job of a language teacher is not teaching is not about being a human dictionary? Would you agree with that? No, it's not. It's not a human dictionary at all. You can then why have class? You know, then go online and there's lots of vocabulary they can go online. 
but you know, is that interaction is the is the questions. There's when it comes to <clears throat> when it comes to if they just want to know vocabulary, but then why am I here? You know? Okay. Um they when it comes, they want to speak, right? That's the main thing. They want to they speak. They want to speak. Yeah. They on on this platform, a big part of it is is speaking, but you will have uh, I have a lot of students who want to also do grammar as well. And so I interact with them. It's it's a so much interaction. So I will, with my more advanced students, I'll send them an article and then they've got that interaction. And then a lot of times grammar will come through that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So grammar, still grammar is still a part of it, even though it's mostly a lot of it is speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, everybody's complaining that uh, there is too much uh, grammar and vocabulary drills in a traditional language classroom. But but this is, yeah. But strip the language from the information. All you're left with is vocabulary and grammar. You see, so if they are not, if they don't go to a language classroom with the mindset of acquiring knowledge, all you're left with is. Vocabulary and grammar. But don't, yeah, but you don't start with vocabulary or grammar. You know, you start with the context first. You know, you I start, always start yeah. with context. Start with context, but start with context. context, but again, are they really interested in that context when you say article or picture? That's a good question. Are they interested? I, I, I will always, that's what this, for example, is about. Let's say this introduction class, what mm -hmm. are they interested in? I get it wrong sometimes and i will um start something and there and sometimes they'll say actually i'm not really interested in this particular um uh discussion or topic or whatever it is i'm like perfect thank you for telling me we won't do anything regarding this anymore you're absolutely right sometimes they're not interested in it you're absolutely right you have quite a long experience so. i have so my my experience is mostly so i i started in germany but um it's been teaching and managing schools mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the same time, you know. Um, so you believe that language can be taught, but uh, and this is what this is what books try to um, accomplish. So you'll you'll never get a, a language book or a good language book, at least that will start with grammar or start with vocabulary. They'll always start with some kind of context. Are they interested in it or not? Mm. I don't know. But they'll always start. They'll always start with that. Context. Internet so in be, the yeah. pocket and people uh, reading language textbooks for knowledge for information sounds. <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah. ridiculous to be honest. So, so I don't, I don't like. You don't need to use any kind of um, books like this on here. So I, I, I have lots of things that I talk about here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got. I, I've even put worksheets. That I prepared, and I personally, there's not everybody does this. I personally use um, Google Drive, and um, so what I like about it is that they they can edit it there, and then I can see everything that they've edited, and we can we can share the screen, and you know. So I always give them homework afterwards. And what would you say? The my last question is about the hmm, pros and cons of being a non-native versus native, both sides. You understand. So, um, okay. Say the native. What this are the also pros is of native and cons of native. No, uh, yeah, this is a good question. Actually, one of the guys who I was doing my masters with, uh, actually, he actually did his masters on this, which was, uh, yeah, is it better to have a native teacher or a, a non-native teacher? And um, it's kind of interesting. It did make a massive difference um in some ways the non-native speakers had an advantage because they were a student themselves of it, this particular language english and um, it really helps though if the um teacher can speak another language so mm -hmm. me speaking german mm -hmm. because i know i know what it's like to learn a language you mm -hmm. know um it's actually a big disadvantage if the native teacher doesn't speak mm. another language mm. or at least has knowledge of another language, you know, because then they don't understand what that student's going through. And yeah, yeah. that teacher could even get frustrated um, as well. Like, how, how do you, how are you not getting this? You know, that kind of thing. To me is, is about, yeah. again, 
teaching the adult student how to learn mm. alone without a teacher. So if we agree with that definition of teaching, mm -hmm. it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter whether the teacher is native or non-native. No, so no, no. I think that this is the knowledge teachers have to pass on, not the vocabulary and grammar, yeah. but how to learn alone. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, so I will... So how? what are some ideas that are... How long have you been teaching for, in fact? No, no, I'm uh, kind of looking into the future and uh, okay. well, mainly so, so far got, as a learner. Yeah, so have you got ideas of how students should um, learn themselves? or Language is a tool for acquiring knowledge. I 100% agree with that guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's all about the knowledge. It always starts yeah. with the knowledge and yeah. speaking yeah. is a byproduct. So knowledge is first, no matter how difficult it is. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to think about it and uh, a lot of things from you. Appreciate it. Yeah, anything you, if you want to ask me? Or? Um, well, first of all, if you do have any questions or if you want to talk about anything else, you can always chat to me. Okay, so the chat's always open. Okay, okay, even if I'm not even if I'm not online, so no problem. Just ask me and I'll, I'll respond. Okay, even if I'm not online. Okay. Yeah, it is this the you know something nice about teaching online. Of course, is that it's it's a lot more flexible. You should, you know you've got your hours. You it, whether it's full time or. And maybe you're working for a school and you only want to do this sometimes. It's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. Um, so like I, I have private students and then I use this um, platform to kind of make uh, on the side. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, man. Listen, Vlad, have a great day. Okay. You too. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, man. Bye. 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 Quit. <laughs> he wanted me to be his private student <laughs> oh boy the whole thing is so absurd <laughs> it's so absurd he's gonna teach me English unbelievable unbelievable <laughs> everything you need to know about how to learn a foreign language you can find in my book Virtually Native, which is available on Amazon and Virtually Native. Don't. You have one life. Don't waste it.